In this video, I'm going to talk about layers. And layers are ways we can separate geometry based on kind of a purpose or what we want it to look like. So this is the layer property box here. We can also see layers here. So if I click on this, it'll pull on, show me a list of layers. I can pick on one to change the current layer. Or I can go here to properties and look at the layers. If it looks like this and has the filters out, just click on this double arrow and hide that. Um, you'll still see the options up here for filtering. Just leave those alone. <clears throat> right now we can see that we have some other layers here. The zero layer. This is a special layer for AutoCAD. Uh, we'll use it when we get to doing blocks, but for most of your drawing, don't use it. Um, you have a center layer, construction layer, def points. This is one that AutoCAD makes automatically for dimensions and put some stuff for dimensions on it. Don't draw on that one yourself either. Uh, you have a dimension layer, hidden, object, text, title block, and a viewport layer. You can see the little icons next to them are different. So the blue icon, like this, next to text, means there's something that's on that layer. A white icon like this means there's nothing on that layer. The checkbox, the check mark, means that that's our current layer. So if I wanted to draw on the construction layer, I could go up here and hit the check mark. And now the construction layer is current, and if I start drawing, everything will be on the construction layer. Here I have whether it's on or off, or frozen or thawed. So off and frozen both make it so you can't see the stuff. Um, the difference is that off, AutoCAD still remembers about it, um, so it's thinking about it when it's doing regenerations and it's zooming in and out and trying to figure out where geometry is. Frozen means it doesn't take it into account when it's doing the math for what it's going to show on the screen. <clears throat> we can also lock layers so that you can see it. You can use your O snaps with it, but you can't change it. We have our colors, different line types. If you wanted to do a new line type, you would just click on it for the layer. You can see I've even got another one loaded. But if I wanted to use one that wasn't one of these, I could go to load and then go through the library and find one that I want. So you can see there's some for kind of architecture that have letters and stuff in them, different things, and just load it. And then I could just pick on that one for that layer and say, okay, now that layer uses that line type. I have line weight, so how wide the line is going to be. And those are measured in millimeters. And we have the plot style. And this is kind of how it's going to print. So if I check this one, you can see it's monochrome style 1. So that means it's going to print in black and white, no matter what the printer is. If it's a black and white printer, it's, black and, it's just going to print black lines, solid dark black lines. It's a color printer, solid dark black lines. If it's normal, what it'll do is if it's a color printer, it'll print in color. And if it's a black and white printer, that layer will print in kind of shades of gray. Um, so usually you want to use style 1 for most things. If you had one specific layer you wanted to print out in color, you just change that layer to normal. And that layer would print in color while everything else prints dark black. Um, and this row here is the plot, so whether or not that layer plots when you print. Um, so like the viewport layer, we don't want to print out, so it's had a little thing around it. So if we go into the layout, we can kind of see those same things. And we also have one extra one here, this box here. That means freeze in this viewport. So if I froze it, like if I froze the object layer in the viewport, it's frozen here. But if I go to model space, it's there. If I went back and I unfroze it in the viewport and just froze it overall, it would be frozen there and here. So that's what the difference between that extra little box there and the viewport is. So let's look at kind of what we're doing. So here I've got the construction layer current. And over here in properties, we want everything to be by layer. We want the layer to control our properties usually. So if I drew a line now, because I had picked that hot water line type for that layer, that's what shows up. If I decided that no, I want this to be on the hidden layer, I just click on it. 
and then either here in the quick properties or up here in the pull down here I can just pick on it and come down and pick hidden and change the layer and then hit escape <coughs> if I want to draw on the hidden layer from now on just pick hidden draw a line I can draw that line there <coughs> here I can do a match properties so I can pick on that one I already changed to that so it's going to match those layers <coughs> I can also <coughs> make that layer current so using this one I can just pick a layer and it's going to make that layer current if I lock a layer so here if I lock this layer actually it's not going to or it did but I can't do anything now because that layer is locked so I'm going to go down and pick the object layer so if I pick on here I can't do anything you see there's no grips you can't see it if I just click on the slide out I can change kind of how transparent or bold that layer is <coughs> so that's kind of layers so all right